Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, I wanted to give you a quick overview of some nodes that I've been working on. I'm calling them measurement nodes. And the idea is you could add them to a model to add dimension lines that are renderable. Here, I've got an example of some of the nodes. The first one is this measure edge node. It takes an input geometry and then an edge index. And you can see it here applied to this edge and this edge. You have control over how far away from the edge the measurement is, a rotation around the edge. You can control how close the upright lines are and how close the arrow lines are in the middle. You can change the overall thickness of the lines and the text size. Of course, you can set the material that this is going to be drawn with. And then you can put in your camera and this tells the text which direction to rotate so that it's always facing the camera. You can add an additional rotation to the text. You can add or remove decimals. And then you can choose which magnitude of metric unit you want to use. Zero being meters, positive numbers going to decameters, hectometers, and kilometers. Negative going to decimeters, centimeters, millimeters, and so forth. This next node is called measure two points. In this case, I've provided two empties and I'll get the distance between those two objects. After setting those objects, the rest of this node is a lot like the edge length node, but it gives you more flexibility since you don't have to tie it to an individual edge. Next, we have the measure face corner angle node. Like the edge length node, we connect a geometry, but in this one, we choose a corner index and we get this call out. We can adjust how far away the bend is from the measurement, we can control how far away this point is from the edge. We can control how far the offset is from the text. And of course the line thickness and the text size, the text material and alignment, the rotation and the decimals. Here we can choose if the text is gonna be on the left or the right side of the callout. That way, if you want your callout to be in the other direction, you can just flip it. You have the option if you want to show this edge corner angle. You can control how large it is. And sometimes when you have an abnormally shaped face, the edge of this arc can get lost. So this circle tweak here just makes the center of this arc go up and down in case you can't see it. Similar to the corner angle, we have the measure face area node. This one takes in a geometry and we choose a face index to measure. Like the corner angle, we have the bend offset and the offset from size, our line thickness, text size, etc, etc. And finally, we have a text callout. This one takes a string for whatever text you want here. The bend offset works exactly the same as the other ones do. The only difference here is instead of just setting the text position, we also set a location for the anchor position. So we can have an arbitrary position for both the anchor and the text. You do have some additional options if you have a long string. In this case, the string is way too long. So I can use the text box size to have it flow differently. This feature is still in development. It seems to work all right all the time when the text is on the right. But when the text is on the left, I think there's a bug that I'm gonna have to report because sometimes it moves around in a weird way, but I'm still working on that. Right now, these nodes are available via my Patreon. I've put a link down in the description and you can go check them out if you want. So as I come up with updates, I'm publishing them over there. In the upcoming weeks, I'll probably do a tutorial about how I put these together. And in the future, I'll probably publish them over on my Gumroad page once they're all fleshed out. That being said, I do want to thank my Patreon supporters. It's projects like this that your support is helping me get to. So anyhow, whether you check these out on my Patreon or you try to design something like this for yourself, I hope this inspires you to make something awesome. So until next time, I'll catch you later.